Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss. I'm back again with another video. And today we're going to take a look at some more hot Android apps. Now, if you're keeping track at home, this will be number seven. Y'all already know the drill. All of these apps are available from the market. If you like them, download them, play with them for yourself. If you don't like them, then don't download them. Just that simple. Now, as usual, all of the apps I'm going to show you, I get the paid version because I like to have all of the features and I also support the developers. So let's get busy. The first app we're going to take a look at is one of my new favorite apps. It's called Shush. All right. Now, what Shush does is it puts your phone on vibrate for a specific amount of time. So say you go to the movies, say you're going on a date, you know, say you're at work and you got to go to a meeting or something and you want to put your phone on silent for a specific amount of time, you just get Shush. Now, with Shush, you don't have to load up everything. All you got to do is put your, hit the volume, hit it down all the way and Shush will pop up by itself. Now, once it pop up, you can set it for a specific amount of time. Like say I go to the movies, I just set it for two and a half hours. Then you hit Shush. You see on the notification bar, your phone is quiet now for two and a half hours. Now that's good because what I like to do is I like to go to the late show. So say I get to the movies at, you know, one o'clock in the morning, I put the phone on silent, I leave the movies at 3.30, whatever, get in the house and go straight to sleep. I might fall asleep with the phone on silent and I might miss some important calls in the morning. At least when you're rocking with Shush, after two and a half hours, your phone will automatically go back to whatever loud ring you had it set before that. So Shush is a hot app. Next, we got Foxfeed. Now Foxfeed, what this app does is it's free Wi-Fi tether from your phone to your laptop or your tab or whatever device you got without having your phone rooted. Okay, so if you don't want to root your phone because you're worried about the warranty and all of that, or you just might not know how to root the phone, then you get Foxfeed. So when you're in your car, all you got to do is activate Foxfeed, activate the Wi-Fi hotspot, then you can pull out your Galaxy Tab or your Motorola Zoom or your iPad or whatever you want, and you get the free Wi-Fi tether. Now on a side note, be careful with that, all right, because... Um, a lot of these companies, they're watching your data use now. Don't, don't get me wrong. Just because it says like Sprint or Verizon, you know, unlimited data, trust me, a lot of people getting busted using the Fox feed too much and they throttling down their service and some people, they even straight up deading them from their contract, all right? And if you don't believe me, check out the Google Gangster Facebook page. One of my homeboys on there, Sprint just completely shut them down for using too much internet. And meanwhile, you got, you know, unlimited data, but... You got to read the fine print on the contract. They got the right to shut you down at any time. So watch out with Foxby. Foxby is cool. Use it for an hour here, hour there, whatever. But if you're working overnight somewhere, don't try to watch Netflix all night using Foxby because eventually you're going to get shut down. All right. What we got next? Next, we got Wake Voice. All right. Now, Wake Voice is a nice alarm clock. And I've been using this for a minute now. I like this joint. Let me show you how it works. You activate... Wake voice is, you know, you set it up just like a regular alarm, but it has a nice speech to text voice. All right. And, it, and you could also use your voice. So this is, I'm just going to put a test run on it right now. This is the, now you could set up any alarm you want, but this is the alarm I like to wake up to. It sounds like this. And it's going to come up with a, with a joint that says speak now. All right. Now, if you speak now, you could say stop or you could say snooze and it'll automatically snooze and it'll come back on again in five minutes or whatever you set the snooze time for. So I like that. So when the phone is next to my head and the alarm goes off, all I got to do is say snooze and I catch a couple more minutes or I could just say stop and turn it off. Now, once you say stop, this is the next part of the feature that makes this alarm hot. This is what happened if you say stop. I hope you had a good night. And I hope you have a very good day. You can set it up to have your Merry weather, Christmas. your calendar. I may be a little mistaken on the date. Anyway, we announced 61 degrees Fahrenheit. Horace go all that. This was to me by birds in New York, USA. All right, so once you, once you stop the alarm, it's automatically going to start reading off the weather, the news, the horoscope, all that. So this is perfect alarm to wake up to. All right, so wake voice is a definite go. What else we got here? Path. Now, Path is a nice social networking website, and they have a nice, beautiful app for Android. And let me show you what it looks like. Now, this is just like Foursquare, Twitter, and all that stuff. You're gonna have to get a couple of friends and all that. But once you got a couple of friends that, and they all using Path, you can check and see what all your boys is doing, where they at, what kind of music they're listening to. 
say I want to add something. I can I could add a photo. I could check into a place. I could update my you know my status. Say I want to listen to some music. All right, it's going to give you some nice recommended music. Say I just click on a little wing. The song plays. I could download the song and all that. And if the song is hot, I could just share it to my boys if I wanted to share it. I click on that. And now it's on my now it's on my path. I just shared that song. All right, so Path is a nice app. You gotta play with it for a minute for yourself, but the user interface on it is hot. Now, if you just seen a pop-up just now, that's the next app we're gonna take a look at. That was Gmail pop-up. Now, if you're using an Android phone, Gmail is probably your, you know, your main um, email account. If it's not, trust me, Gmail pop-up is a definite go. This is one of my favorite new apps also. Okay, Gmail pop-up. Let me show you how that looks now. This is the icon. You know, you got that mean Google face. That's a nice one right there. Gmail pop-up. You set it up any way you want, but this is what's going to happen. When you get an email, let's do a quick test. This is what it looks like. It's going to pop up like that. Pops up like that, and then you could just click on the email you want to see, or you could just, um, you know, delete it or do whatever you want to do. Gmail pop-up is hot. It's definitely hot. As you can see, I'm getting a pop-up right now. It just pops up just like that, and you click it right to it. Also, if you're going to get Gmail pop-up, you got to get the Gmail widgets. These are two Gmail widgets. I just got one set up for my inbox and one set up for my priority mail. Nice looking widgets that you get. So trust me, you want to play with those for a minute. But if you're using Gmail as your main email account, you definitely want to get Gmail pop-up. There's also a couple of... Um, couple of different features that you could deal with it like I said I don't really get too deep with all the all the features and all that you could you know set it up yourself but you could change the background change the color change the notification change the icon you don't have to use that icon right here but it just looks hot when your phone is off and you get an email it looks like this it just pops right up on the screen Gmail pop-up definite go next we got one weather now, One Weather is a nice weather app. It just has beautiful animations. Now, I usually use, um, you know, beautiful widgets and all that, but One Weather is a nice one. Let's take a look at that. All right, One Weather. So when you click on One Weather, it's going to give you the weather for today. Nice, you know, nice animation. Then you can also swipe. So when you swipe to the right, you get the seven-day forecast. You also get any severe weather warnings. You get the precipitation and it gives you a nice little graph to let you know what day is going to rain coming up. As you can see, there's no rain you know, in the near couple of next days. So it looks like it's going to be a nice week. Then you got the radar. You got the sun and moon phase. You got any recent tweets about the weather. And you got a whole bunch of top weather picks. Now these picks are always some nice picks that you can use and set them up as wallpapers and all of that. But it just looks nice and it works beautiful. And it also comes with a nice widget. All right, now I'm not going to get too deep into the widget right now, but when you download the app, it comes with a nice widget. You can set it up as your, you know, your main weather widget. And also, you get in your drop-down menu, you're going to get a nice notification. So one weather's hot. What else we got? Next, we got Amazon price check. Now, dude like me, I live on Amazon. Trust me. I mean, 90% of the stuff I buy online, I check Amazon first. So say I'm outside in the store and I see something's on sale or whatever, this app right here you need. It's called Amazon Price Check. So say I walk past and they're they selling uh, PS Vita games. They got this game on sale, whatever, uh, Ninja Gaiden. They got it on sale for $40 or whatever. I just click the Amazon app real quick and then just type it in. Say I type in PS Vita games. All of the PS Vita games are going to come up with the prices. So here goes Ninja Gaiden right there. $31. So before I buy anything, I immediately check Amazon to make sure that they don't got it cheaper on Amazon. If you don't use Amazon, trust me, you need to start using it. Amazon is the shit. Trust me. So that's a nice little app right there. What else? Next, we got... Now this one is cool. This one is called Ultra Voice Changer. 
Let me pull that up, the icon, and let you see what it looks like. D now, keep in mind, I get the paid version, so mine says Deluxe Ultra Voice Changer. But if you want to just try it out, get Ultra Voice Changer, but I recommend getting Deluxe Ultra Voice Changer. Let me show you how that works. Now, this is nothing fancy. This is just a cool little app. You know, if you want to fuck around, play around, play a couple of games, you know, play a joke in your shorty or whatever. You get to select an effect that you want to change your voice to. So I change, I change it to slow motion. And I want to record something and I want to, you know, leave a message on my shorty's phone, something, you know, something crazy or whatever. I'll just do a test run. Leave the money outside my house. I'll be there at 8 o'clock. Now it's going to clean it up and then you can just play it back and see what it sounds like. You know, that's cool if, you know, and like I said, they got a whole bunch of different voices to change it to. We're not going to get into all of them, but you got the robot, alien, chipmunk, backwards, possessed. I like the slow motion one, you know, that's like from the movies if you're going to do some ransom type shit. You know, it's just a fun little app, though. Get the paid version, though, if you want to get all the features, though. So that's a nice one right there. Next, what else we got here? Yelp. All right, now, everybody probably heard of Yelp, but they got a nice Android app for it, too. Yelp is hot. What Yelp is, is, say you right now, you know, say you get on the plane and you go somewhere and you go on vacation or whatever, and you want to go to the movies while you're on vacation, and you want to find a movie theater. All you got to do is hit Yelp. It's going gonna, it's gonna to use your location. Like, I just typed in movie theater while I was playing around with it earlier, and a whole bunch of movie theaters that's close to me are going to pop up. With all the reviews from it, all the pictures, the telephone number. And then you can click to the main site, all the tickets and all that. Got the website. But the best part of Yelp are the reviews. Because there's a lot of solid reviews on there. And I always leave reviews on places that Yelp, you know, using Yelp also. But Yelp is perfect. Even if you're in your own hood and you just want to try out a new restaurant that you always drive past. You never ate from there. You just want to try it out. Check it out on Yelp first though. Because most of the time the reviews are reliable. So Yelp is a good little app right there, especially when you got to get out, you know, and see the hood a little bit. Next, something that just dropped on the set today, Instagram. Now, a lot of cats was asking me how I got Instagram before. You know, I was doing the beta test for it. Now they finally released the full version. Instagram is definitely hot. Definitely. Now, all it is is just like a, you know, picture social networking site. Just like Pick Please, we reviewed that in one of the app videos a long time ago, but... This is just something so now all your boys who got iPhones and, you know, one thing they always said, oh, y'all don't got Instagram, y'all don't got Temple Run or Android and all that. This is just one of those apps that now you can be like, look, we got Instagram now too. And basically all it is is a nice, you know, picture networking site. Now this is a test picture I did. I just took a little picture of something I was looking at online. You can upload it to Facebook. I had a whole bunch of friends, you know, y'all share pictures back and forth. You can follow celebrities on Instagram. You know, it's a nice little app. Personally, I like Pick Please better, but we'll see how Instagram pans out. So Instagram is out on Android now, so you need to download that. Add me, Flossie Carter, on that one. Next. Speaking of iPhone, we got... Now, y'all know I don't really get too many, you know, games and all of that, but this is a game you got to get. Temple Run and Angry Birds in Space. First, let's take a look at Temple Run. Now, I'm not, I'm not even going to play it. Y'all already seen Temple Run, but the point is... It's out for Android. So, we matter of fact, we're not even going to get into it. The point is that it's out for Android. And also, Angry Birds in Space. These are two games that will definitely help you pass time if you're in the DMV, you know, you're in the, you're in the hospital, whatever you're at, and you got a couple of hours you got to kill. You need Temple Run and Angry Birds in Space. All right? Shout out to everybody that follow me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter. Shout out to everybody that hit me up on Google+. Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all on that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody that been hitting me on Voxer. Y'all know I'm hitting everybody back. Also, um, we're gonna get we're gonna get back into these videos again. We got the what the ACC Evo One that's getting ready to drop. You know, we gotta see, but right now ain't really nothing out. So we just wanna you know keep fooling around with the app videos. We got stage five with the whip coming this weekend. The whip is in the shop right now. We're doing some major work on it. So we got stage five coming this weekend, all right? And we keep it moving, all right? It's your boy Floss. I'm going to catch up with y'all on the next trip. Deuces.